In this work, we present a keypoint-based neural rendering approach for dynamic shapes called Neural Puppeteer. Pose estimation is one of the fundamental problems in computer vision and a crucial task in many vision applications, ranging from sports to human-computer interaction to the study of collective behavior. Existing models learn how joints look like. Among other things, they learn the texture of the joints. To train such models, a huge amount of data with different texture is available for humans. Datasets for animals have been published too. Recently, these datasets cover an increasingly wide range of species ranging from mice to monkeys to birds. Our approach, called Neural Puppeteer, on the other hand, is based on an efficient and flexible rendering pipeline that renders image properties like occupancy, depth and texture given 3D key points. In case you are wondering how neural rendering and pose estimation connect, the answer is inverse rendering. In case of NEPU, we can even estimate 3D key points from multi-view silhouettes only, making our pose estimation method independent of texture. Let us now take a closer look at how NEPU works step by step. For our inverse rendering solution, it is crucial to learn the relations of pose defined by 3D keypoint positions and resulting 2D image properties such as RGB, silhouettes and depth. Once such a prior is learned, we can later use it to infer 3D keypoints from given 2D observations. In the next slides, we explain our differentiable forward rendering step by step. The first part of our model encodes 3D keypoints in the latent variable Z using methods from deep learning on point clouds. Namely, we rely on the vector self-attention operator proposed in Point Transformer. From a high-level perspective, the vector self-attention mechanism facilitates information exchange between nearby key points. Therefore, it serves a similar purpose as convolutions in CNNs. Our decoder first decompresses the single latent vector into key points and local features in two separate branches. The purpose of the local features is to describe their surroundings locally. We then refine the features using the same attention operator as before. We incorporate camera parameters of the rendering procedure by projecting 3D keypoints into image space alongside the local features. In 2D, we facilitate a final round of attention for further refinement. Importantly, we perform rendering directly in 2D since volumetric rendering is too costly for our application scenarios. For example, in neural radiance fields, it is common to perform 64 to 128 network queries per ray, while we only need a single query. As we will later see, our model still learns good view consistency despite the projection of key points is a much weaker view consistency constraint than a volumetric rendering formulation. Finally, image information for a queried pixel position Q is obtained by first gathering information from surrounding local features. For this, we rely on the cross-attention mechanism introduced in AirNets to aggregate nearby information from which the final predictions are made. Our model has three multilayer perceptron heads one for each different modality. In our case, we have one rendering head for RGB, one for depth, and one for occupancy. All network parameters are trained jointly using a loss consisting of three parts. First, we have a key point reconstruction part. Second, we have a rendering loss between the color, depth, and occupancy masks. And additionally, we regularize the latent variables in the norm, which roughly encourages a zero-mean Gaussian latent distribution. Since available datasets for animals do not provide all the necessary information, we decide to explore our method on synthetic data. For this purpose, we generated high-quality data for four different specimens – cows, giraffes, pigeons, and humans. Our dataset has 24 post cameras with high quality ground truth RGB, 
depth and masks, and time-synchronized 3D keypoint locations. In our inverse rendering experiments, we aim to infer 3D keypoint positions from multi-view silhouettes. Since our end goal would be an easy domain transfer from synthetic to real, we only rely on 2D occupancy masks as observations, which makes our 3D keypoint detector invariant to texture and illumination changes. To solve this highly complex inverse rendering problem, we heavily rely on the prior distribution that NEPU learned over the relations of 2D image properties and 3D keypoints. Using this prior, we aim to find a latent vector z hat that minimizes the binary cross entropy over all cameras and pixels between the observed and rendered masks. Additionally, we include a regularization term on z in order to arrive at a more likely and therefore more well behaved solution. Using our decoder, we can ultimately infer the 3D keypoints from Z hat. Since our optimization sometimes gets stuck in local minima, if the initialization is too far away from the true latent variable, we perform multiple runs with different initializations and take the one with the highest intersection over union between the rendered and ground truth masks. This animation shows the process of pose optimization from the initialization to the final pose given the silhouette. Please note that these are two of our zero-shot synthetic to real-world experiments, where we trained NEPU on our synthetic data and then inferred on real-world images. Here we see some more real-world examples for giraffes and a cow. Our inverse rendering for pose estimation works very well and we achieve a better average mean per joint position error and median over all objects than learnable triangulation of human pose. Our qualitative results reflect the overall good quality of NEPU for pose estimation. We show projected key points where color-coded dots indicate a location and a 3D error to the ground truth. Red dots indicate a high, green dots a low 3D error. Our forward differentiable rendering pipeline works very well too and we achieve a better average peak signal to noise ratio and mean absolute error over all objects than light field networks. Our qualitative results reflect the overall good quality of NEPU for forward differentiable neural rendering. Comparing the results shows the importance of the local conditioning. The results obtained with NEPU are much more detailed with more precise boundaries. We also compare NEPU to ANINERV. Our results look promising but cannot meet the quality of ANINERV. Please note that our rendering formulation is fundamentally different. While ANINERV leverages the simple parameters to restrict the problems to computing blend weights, NEPU has to solve a more complex problem. In addition, NERF-based approaches typically rely on time and memory intensive volumetric rendering. In contrast, we propose a single evaluation rendering formulation that is closer to the formulation of light field networks. This fundamental difference in our rendering pipeline results in a significant speed increase of 50 to 200 times at an image resolution of 512 times 512 pixels compared to nerve based approaches. Furthermore, we applied our rendering pipeline to key points from motion capture data from the AMAS dataset. Wow, NEPU can even dance Macarena! Also, the 2D depth estimations from NEPU can be used to perform 3D reconstruction of the captured shape. Although NEPU renders in 2D, 
which means that we do not have a guaranteed consistency between the generated views. We observe a very good view consistency. And last but not least, the structure of Nepus latent space encodes meaningful information about how individual poses are related to each other. For code, our synthetic dataset and further results, please visit our project page by scanning the QR code.